Hi everyone and welcome to the channel and I'm here for a rumors speculation type video if you want to call it that. So for this video we're going to talk about the band Breaking Benjamin. Now Breaking Benjamin is a band that I've been a fan of for about 10 years which is very hard to believe and lately I have been listening to Breaking Benjamin especially from the album Phobia which I still think is their best to this day and you know as I was listening to Breaking Benjamin and, you know, looking back at their music and just re-listening to some of these songs, you know, I was trying to think, like, what was it about this sound that really did it for me back in the day? Because as you guys know, Breaking Benjamin, they're not really a band that I listen to as much these days. I just don't really listen to that style of rock these days, but I still definitely respect Breaking Benjamin. I still think that they are a very great band for sure. But I can definitely see why I got into these guys when I did 10 years ago. Uh, they kind of just resonated with me at the time, 10 years ago, uh, whenever I uh, got into Breaking Benjamin and when I listened to all their albums. So I do want to talk about the possibility of Breaking Benjamin releasing a new album next year in 2022. Now, there are some people that are saying that it's basically all but confirmed that we are going to get a new Breaking Benjamin album in 2022. Now, I do feel like Breaking Benjamin should have released their new album in 2021 because obviously it's been a few years since their last album, Ember, at this point. So I do think that we are definitely due for the next Breaking Benjamin album. But at the same time, I know some people are saying, oh, well, the reason we didn't get a new album this year is just because of their last acoustic album, Aurora, last year. But honestly, I think that's just a load of BS. I would really hate to think that Aurora is the reason why we, did, we didn't get a new Breaking Benjamin album this year. In fact, I would have rather them just skip out on Aurora entirely and just make a very solid album for the fans. That's just what I think. Now, I know some people might think I'm insane for saying this because I know some people think Aurora is still a really great album. For me, it's not bad. I don't think it's bad, but it just didn't hold up very well, I don't think. And I just think that Breaking Benjamin, they got to come out with something new in order to keep their relevance, I think. So what do I want from this next Breaking Benjamin album if it's going to release in the year 2022? Well, I believe I've mentioned this before in a past video about Breaking Benjamin, but I believe that Breaking Benjamin should try going back to a darker sound like they did with Dear Agony. That's what I think. Because these last couple Breaking Benjamin albums, Dark Before Dawn and Ember, it seemed like, like these albums, they were really trying to... I guess, uh, reflect that classic Breaking Benjamin sound from uh, the first three albums or so. So I think it would be cool if Breaking Benjamin tried to do something like Dear Agony again, you know, have a more darker sound, maybe um, have it less raw or whatever. I just think that they should uh, be more experimental on the next album. That's personally what I think. I think that in order to make this band feel fresh again, like in order to make them, um, I guess, more relevant and <laughs> I guess really make them um, stand out again, I think that they really need to try something different on this next Breaking Benjamin album. I think either try something similar to Dear Agony again or something that's completely different. That's what I personally think because th these... I mean, Breaking Benjamin's been doing the same thing since 04. I feel like since We Are Not Alone, they kind of just st stuck with that sound, I guess. And they didn't really think outside of the box. And that's always been one of my problems with Breaking Benjamin, is they're, they've never really been a band that thought outside of the box all that much. I do have um, some theories, though. One particular theory is actually regarding the one new original song that was on Aurora far away. I'm wondering if that song is going to be on Breaking Benjamin's next album, similar to what Demon Hunter is doing, because if you didn't know, uh, earlier this year, Demon Hunter basically did what Breaking Benjamin did. They released an acoustic album that had a collection of their uh, classic songs and plus one brand new song, 
and that brand new song is going to be on Demon Hunter's next album. So I do wonder if Breaking Benjamin is going to do the same thing with the song Far Away. I personally would not be surprised if they do end up doing that, if they um, came out with a completely different edition of Far Away, I guess. I would be totally fine with that, honestly. And so that's kind of where I stand on this. I mean, Ember is... <laughs> came out like three years ago, which is crazy to think about. So we're definitely due for a new Breaking Benjamin album. That's for sure. I also think that Breaking Benjamin either needs to, needs to do something completely different on this new album, or maybe try something like Dear Agony again. You know, that's just what I personally think. And I'm sure we can all bet that the next Breaking Benjamin album will release sometime in 2022. I think that's just a given at this point. I just personally don't see why they wouldn't release a new album by then because we're already due for a new Breaking Benjamin album. So I just, again, don't see why they wouldn't release their new album in the year 2022. I just, I think it's very possible and it's likely. So when in 2022 do I think Breaking Benjamin could release their new album? Well, it could really come out at any time in the year, I think, but I would probably guess maybe sometime late spring, uh, early summertime, maybe April, May, or June. But let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for what Breaking Benjamin has to offer next, or do you think that Breaking Benjamin has, I guess, kind of gotten stale? I mean, that's kind of how I feel to an extent, at least with these more recent albums. I mean, these post-hiatus albums from Breaking Benjamin... I can't stand here and say that they're bad, but they're just missing something. I don't know if they're just, it's just the nostalgia, or if these albums really are just missing something. I'm not sure, but I do think that the 2000s material, except uh, We Are Not Alone, have been much stronger than the more recent stuff from Breaking Benjamin. But either way, I'm definitely looking forward to Breaking Benjamin's next album, whatever they have to offer next. So. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and take care.